Good, I murmur, feeling wicked and wonderful as he wraps his arm around my waist, flipping me onto my back with an ease that makes me feel delicate for the first time in my life. Then his big palm is between my shoulders, sliding me higher on the mattress with one hand, and I feel every drop of feminism leech from my body. At 5'8", I've always been taller than a lot of men. As a former rugby player, who's only gotten in better shape since high school, I'm also stronger than a good number of them. I've never felt small or dainty with a guy I've dated. But I've never imagined I'd enjoy feeling that way either. I like knowing I can handle myself in a scuffle with just about anyone. And that, worst case scenario, I could drag my date out of a burning building as easily as he could do the same. I never thought I'd melt for a man who could move me around with one hand, or with thighs even stronger than my own. But as my stranger guides my legs apart and settles between them, the feel of his hard, muscled body makes me tremble. Nervous, he asks, mistaking the reason for my shiver. I shake my head, marveling at the power in him as I skim my fingertips over his chest and up around his firm shoulders. No, 